y'all so we reached our flat in london we're staying in brixton which is just south of london i'm helping out with the background come on they probably all dusty <laughs> So we just got here, we just kind of got settled in and charging all of our devices and well, I did. So we're about to walk around. We're gonna see if we can find a Nando's because when in the UK, dot, dot, dot. I wanna go into the top shop we passed on the way here and we're just gonna explore our immediate area before we hit like central London and you know, all the royal historical and touristy things. was founded in the 10th century and it's the home of um, many tombs and monuments of just a lot of the royals and those uh, significant to British history so um, a lot of the royal funerals and weddings were held here Princess Diana's wedding and funeral um, of course the Duke and Duchess William and Kate were married here, so it was really cool. This place just oozes like royal history, like it's crazy. So I'm such a history buff, so it feels so good to like be here because you know you read about it, you write about it, you learn about it, you watch about it, you watch the weddings on TV. So to actually be here and know so much has taken place was um, absolutely crazy. So this is actually a picture of William and Kate's wedding. You know what I mean? We ain't, maybe maybe 40 minutes. Yeah. I just wanted to see the crown jewels. <laughs> That's all she wanted to see. Wow. All right, y'all. So this is our last tour stop for the night. Buckingham Palace. All right. We at my booze house, the queen. <laughs> oh. We came, but she locked me out. I am the queen. Thank you very much. <laughs> So this is Buckingham Palace. This is the official first, London's first official um, residence of the British monarch. And of course, obviously, the Queen lives here, 775 rooms, and she uses only about 12 of them. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, this is like, this is it. All right, y'all, we about to go check out the restaurant in the same building um, that we're staying in. Three Little Birds actually went there last night. My wife was petrified that I was leaving the house at night without we her. We're supposed to be together. We're abroad, okay? Have you seen Taken? <laughs> We on top of a uh, tower bridge. What year was it built? You know? All right, we're gonna get some history facts. We're still gonna be right back. Got off London Bridge. Now we're still on the Queen's Walk. The Tower part? Bridge. The Tower Bridge. I keep getting it. 1886. They were in fact. Bam. And ten men died while I built them. Yeah, we're looking for some fish and chips. Right, because we we oh, failed yesterday. Oh, failed horribly. But today we will be successful. Oh, All right, y'all. So we were been, we were successful. We found a location that has fish and chips. How good they are, we don't know yet. So we're still waiting. As soon as the food comes out, we'll determine on whether we were successful or not. But we're here. As soon as the food hits her stomach, she'll be good. I just need like two bites. Feed her, make sure she's happy, take on trips to Europe and maybe the Caribbean. And we finally got our fish and chips though. It looks, it looks awesome. I don't know about these peas. I'm not about that life. All right, y'all. So, <laughs> fish and chips was semi-successful. When y'all come, I'm telling y'all, when y'all come abroad, man, y'all gotta, unless you eat like some Jamaican food from like some good spot in London, y'all gotta bring your own condiments. Cause salt, pepper, ketchup. Cause even the ketchup and the mayo had like less salt in it. It was just like weird. So it was just like the fish and chips had the potential to be bomb diggity, but it just, ah, it wasn't there. It just wasn't there. So we out here. 
just went to TK Maxx, which is our equivalent of TJ Maxx. We ran into a guy in the uh, in the TK Maxx. So the guy is a, was also a, a shopkeeper who had to move out of Brixton because he could no longer afford the rent because it's 2,000 pounds base level. Gentrification at its finest. Gentrification at its finest. It's so apparent. It's so sad. To the vlog real quick. And we out, y'all, carrying around these heavy bags. Back to the U.S.